Well, it's round two, and when Maris keeps winning, I keep making bad jokes. Here we go. So where is Griffin? Well, who better to ask than Griffin? Where is Griffin? In Griffin, Georgia. In case that wasn't quite clear, Griffin is located right here, exactly 39 miles from Marist School as the crow flies and 52 miles as the car drives. The city of Griffin has a population of just under 24,000, which is less than the population of the Marist Cafeteria at activity period. It's also less than the number of people on Ashford Dunwoody in the afternoon and less than the number of items in Miss Canfield's Lost and Found. We've got water bottles, we've got books, we've got fleece. Griffin is the only city in the continental United States that has never had a semi-truck hit the underside of a bridge. It's because they put up these absolutely genius signs. Sometimes, simpler is better. Now, there are 18 current or former NFL football players from Griffin. And that's all I got. Compared to the rest of the state, Griffin is in the top 9% for the most efficient use of public transportation. So they can just take the bus home when they lose on Friday. Woohoo! Got him! Got him! Well, that's it for this week. For NBC News, I'm Kevin Jackson. See ya. Gotcha! Here's a quick announcement from the athletic office about Friday's game. War Eagle Fever is in the air. Number two Griffin versus number four Marist. We're going to need all the student support we can get. Remember we have exams Friday so you'll be out early. You got an email this week about bus transportation for students. We need to know by the end of the day today if you're interested in going. We'll either take Marist white buses or activity buses. So believe me, we need you for War Eagle Fever to spread into Griffin.